Hello, this is Tim and Matt, and for, we are both members of the Matrix Networks Client Success Team, and we are going to show you a video on how to give Matrix admin access to your RingCentral portal. If you're watching this, that you've probably recently invested in a new RingCentral system through Matrix Networks and purchased Matrix Concierge uh, implementation services to help you deploy your new cloud-based phone system. So thank you for doing that. Uh, we're excited about the project. Matt, take it away. All right, so as you can see, I'm sharing up my screen. So usually when you first get your RingCentral account set up, whoever signed off on the contract is usually created as what's called the super admin. It's, almost, it's like the default extension of, on the whole account. So they'll have to go, they'll get an activation email from RingCentral. They'll have to go through, go through the activation process, answer some security, set up some security questions, set up a, a PIN number, and once they have full access to the system and they're able to log in, it brings them in, it can bring them into what's called the admin portal. And you want to make sure this says admin. There's two, two different uh, selections up here, admin portal and my extension. So if I just switch over to my extension, now I'm just switching, I'm just um, controlling or changing settings for my personal extension. So we want to make sure we're in the admin portal. That's step one. This is the landing page where it takes you when you first log in. So to give us access, we start off by going to users. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit, as you can see, we have all of our employees at Matrix Networks in this list. So the first thing we're going to do is start off by hitting add user. It's going to pop up a screen, domestic is fine, select location, and we hit next. And for this one here, we want to make sure we add users without devices. So this makes this a non-billing account, and we do not want any phone numbers. So we set the quantity of one. You'll notice the add button lights up. So we hit add. You're going to scroll down here, see the zero total estimated cost, and then we hit next. And then it brings us to the confirmation page, and it's your orders being processed. An order confirmation will be sent to you by email in a couple minutes. Is this so, what it's called to uh, make a create a virtual user? Is that what this is? It is. It's kind of like a virtual user on the system. There's no phone number assigned to it. There's no device assigned to it. So it's basically setting up a user that has log login, login credentials and then setting that user up to be a super admin so your matrix representative can get in and help you with setup or help answer questions along the way of deploying your phone system. So once that piece is done, it actually sets the new, it created the new unassigned extension. So if we click here, we're going to see this in unassigned extensions. It looks like there was already one set up in here prior to me doing that. So if we click on it, the next step is actually setting it up for matrix use. So typically we're going to say set up option and send an invite. That way, once we activate and set this up and save it down here, it's going to send out an activation email to whatever email address we put in here. So typically we go through and just put in here like this matrix and then admin and you can pick any extension number on the system. It auto filled in one here. Now we usually set this to something like, let's see, eight, nine, 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 something kind of up and out of the way. Uh, no direct number, no mobile number. And usually we just put in here um, matrix admin again. And department, we leave blank. All the rest of this stuff, we leave blank except for this email. So typically, we set these up to be RC admin dash your company name. So in this case, we'll just do test company. And then we do at mtrx.com. So basically, what we do in Matri at Matrix is we create um, a kind of a, a virtual email account. And we set this up just like this with your company name here. And then we set it up so whenever an email comes in, it actually sends it over to our client success inbox. So we verify the email uniqueness and it, we are good to go. So once we do this, we hit save. And an email is going to get sent out. Obviously, this isn't set up, so we're not going to receive it. But once this is set up, I forgot to do one thing, but we can do that right here. I forgot to have you have this be set up as a super admin. So here's our extension. Here's it just says standard international. So we want to change this to be super admin so Matrix can help make changes in the phone system and set things up as we go along. So I got to remember where they always change this on me right here. Nope. Settings and permissions. Settings and permissions. Yep. Oh, where are we here? Standard international. So. 
we got to change this to be a super admin. Once we do this and save it, now the matrix uh, representative who's helping you deploy your Ring Central phone system will have full admin rights to add extensions, to help you guys set these up as we move through the process. So once that's set at super admin, we go through and activate it, and then we have the ability to log in and start heading you, help you setting up all your users and getting the system program. Love it. Thank you so much, Matt. You are welcome.